you. I'm Jamie Garman, assistant principal at LCC, and I would like to introduce our rising star, Mr. December, uh, Juan Zacharias Francisco, to come on up here. In addition, I would like to ask his ELD and our uh, English teacher, Miss Shalise Farr, to come up here. And also his counselor, Miss Hernandez Sear. And part of our Maverick family is definitely missing right now because the person um, that's probably his number one supporter from day one at LCC um, would be his ELD teacher, Miss McNally. So I've asked her to provide me with a few words that I could share. So when the term rising star is said, Juan Zacharias, or Juanito, as he is lovingly called in our EL family, was the first name to jump to mind. Juan came to our district from Guatemala and started as an EL level one learner. Now Juan is an EL four student, always seeking ways to improve his knowledge and English. He is a student who self-advocates, asks questions, and is always eager to soak up all the world has to offer. Not only is Juan an extremely hard worker, dedicated student, and committed to his education, he is honest, compassionate, and humble. I bet he is shaking his head as I say those words. He is a student who is always looking out for others. He jumps in to help those who appear confused or have questions. He welcomes our new students and has been tasked on many occasions to introduce them around campus and show them their classes. As a result of his big heart and drive, he has achieved nearly straight A's and plans to continue to further his education. Congratulations, Juan. We are all, all extremely proud of your accomplishments. And beha on behalf of all LCC, I just want to thank you, Juan, for being an amazing representative of our LCC Maverick family. Uh, hi, my name is Juan Humberto Zacarias Francisco, and this is my teacher, Mrs. Farr. Um, I work hard to help my family in emergency, and I work hard to make sure that I got have good grades. Uh, when I came here from Guatemala, people do not follow the law like they should. When I moved here for, for here for four years ago, I left my family behind and realized that I had to be different. I had to be better. I learned that work hard. It, it is important. Uh, I work hard, hard to learn other language, even if it's not my first language or my second language. If I go to college, I will be interested to go uh, in uh, 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 to Mary Costa. Sorry. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I plan to start electrician because uh, my dad is electrician, and I want to follow his steps. I thank to Chamber of Community and the support sp sponsors. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's all. I loved hearing the words that um, his former EL English language learning teacher uh, shared. I've had the pleasure this year as I've stepped into um, a role of teaching English language learners as well, I get Juan because I get to teach the three, four levels. So even though I've only known him for about six months, it was clear from the very first week that all of those things you've already heard um, spoken on his behalf were 100% true. He's incredibly humble. He works so hard. He probably asks me every day if he can check his grades. If he's taken a test in his government class, he wants to see if the test has been updated, if the score has been updated, he's ready to talk to a teacher, if there's something he needs more help with. And those things are indicative of a lot of students. And this is my 14th year in education. So there really is something extra about Juan that set him so much apart and I really think it comes down to his heart. You would never know about the things that are going on in the background because of his humility and his positivity. He is literally in my classroom every single day, which is a statistic that I don't think I can attribute to any other student I have in the several hundred that I, that I teach. There are things that come up. We all have reasons that we have to miss a day, not Juan. 
And um, even just this morning, which he'd probably be mad at me for saying this, uh, he made sure he got dropped off at our school in the early six o'clock hour to make sure that he could be there to receive um, transportation to get here today. And again, that's something that far exceeds what we see from just the average student, and I'm sure is, is similar to the, the wonderful young people that are in this room uh, from our other schools as well. There was one specific occasion where I had the opportunity to bring my elementary age children, my own children, to class to do an activity. We were um, carving pumpkins, actually, because that's something very specific to our culture here in America and something that some of our um, English learners haven't had the opportun opportunity to do. And it was not long before I looked over and Juan is side by side with my eight-year-old, like elbow deep, scraping out the middle of the pumpkin because my son didn't want to get as dirty. And he just took it and helped and jumped in and put a smile on the face of a virtual stranger. And it's, a, it's a, an experience that, as small as it may seem, is so incredibly like commonplace for Juan. He does that kind of thing all the time, translating for friends making sure his grades are in order, making sure his work is done. And um, I've been so incredibly impressed to see the things he's accomplished this year. As a senior, he's right on track to graduate, beyond on track, as you already heard mentioned, great grades. And um, that is to his credit entirely. I'm not having to prod on this one, which is, I think, pretty remarkable as well. So um, unfortunately, Juan's um, mother is actually still back in Guatemala, so she was obviously unable to attend, and um, dad was also unable to be here this morning, but I would love to um, recognize the kind of family support he does have and that he's a big part of that. He works on behalf of his family very often and never complains about it. Typically when I ask what's happening this weekend, he's, I'm working. And uh, to see that his academics have not suffered because of that, I think is, is incredible. So once again, I want to acknowledge and recognize our Juan, our Juanito, as has been mentioned, and um, did you want to say a few words? Or you... Okay, and I would love to turn the time over to our amazing counselor, Mrs. Hernandez Sear, to speak on behalf of the school as well as his family. So thank you. Just to wrap things up, I've been Juan's counselor for the last three years, and he really has been an integral part in his planning academically. He's there picking his classes. He's there looking ahead for next year and saying what can he do so that he can make sure he's on track and taking the highest level classes that he can so he can improve and, and continue to improve upon his English. He's very prepared. Um, again, when we receive new students, we turn to Juan so that he can have um, those students see a welcoming face, a smile, and then also share that experience of being new and saying, I, you know, I'm, I've been there. I know, I know how difficult that is. And so Juan um, is just a sunshine, and he's a community person. When people bring their children, he's there just helping out. And so it, it is, we, you know, we say that we have an EL family. And when we're around Juan, he just... Um, reinforces that because he reminds us that we are truly a family here at LCC. So, Juan, congratulations. We're really proud of you.